people, 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 people. Que pasa, sa pasa, what they do. Now the first thing that is popping in the news is that we see that there's a video going about, we are speaking about on social media. And it shows some men on some bike basically heisting up some brinksman. We are speaking about some armed security. And persons are saying that this took place downtown. This took place at this place. Rete, lele, blue, blah, blah. So anyways, people, I want you to take a look at this video. And then I'm going to give my piece. <laughs> Anybody, anybody, anybody. Now, people, first thing first, as it pertains to social media, people on a can be so vulnerable, on a can be so brainwashed. Everything where you see, you have to analyze it. You can't swallow some big pill because people, the second that I saw that video, I know instantaneously that that was a music video and I know that based on the climate that is going on in Jamaica these persons these producers these artists them know say controversy and drama sell and since crime and violence gang activity robbery is the order of the day it is a hot topic they are always going to take advantage of the situation so anyways people like I said that's the video that is out there However, there is a part two which I have and I'm going to let you look at the part two just to prove that this is actually a music video. Now, when we look at that video, obviously, like we see, we see the director, we see any and everybody that is associated with that music video or whatever it is, short film, Rete, Lele, Blue, Blah, Blah. Now, people, we have to ask the question, based on the climate of Jamaica, do you think that artists, specifically dancehall artists, they are morally, ethically responsible for what they are putting out there? Do you think that dancehall artists because of the influence that they have should be role models or do you think that the role model starts from the home we are speaking about proper family structure we are speaking about that these kids don't grow up in any sort of dysfunctional home may i talk about careless mama and careless papa do you think that it is the responsibility of these dancehall artists producers Rete, Lele, Blue, Blah, Bling. Or everybody need to monitor them own picnic and make sure so we have a better Jamaica. Because people, the truth and the fact is that I am a fan of Vibes Cartel, I am a fan of Tommy Lee Sparta. However, what those persons do in their personal life, that has nothing to do with me. I am a fan of their music and I am not saying that they are guilty or innocent. Me just as say, people have choices. So I am just saying, just like we watch any sort of action movie with all sort of pie pie, tall up, whatever, whatever. We are speaking about a whole bunch of violent people. We are speaking about art. And if you are going to limit art and limit what people can say, we are speaking about freedom of speech. That means something is definitely wrong. However, each person is supposed to be responsible. People are supposed to pick sense out of nonsense and know that this is art imitating life. However, you don't pick up a gun. However, you don't go and rob the bank or rob the brinks, point blank and period. So anyways, people, that is my views on the whole thing as it pertains to that. And like me say, it is just my views and opinion. It is not the gospel. Your views and opinion can be respectfully different from mine. But let me know what you think in the comment section. Now, before I move to the next part of my video, please subscribe to my next channel. It is called Jamaica Dancehall Source One Word. I'll be pinning the link to that channel in the description of this video. And also, please subscribe to this channel. We are speaking about true Jamaica buzz. And when you subscribe, please press the notification bell or icon and also press all in the option. Now, the next thing that is popping in the news is a little controversy as it pertains to Kensington High School. Sorry, primary school. We are speaking about in Portmore. We are speaking about in St. Catherine. In which back in 2018, 
a little child, a five-year-old, was barred from going to the school. However, the court said that she should attend the court until the Supreme Court makes a ruling. However, last week, Friday, we saw that the Supreme Court made a ruling on people. Everybody and their mama thought that it was controversial because they said that the school, Kensington Primary School, did not do anything to breach this lady, this little young girl we are talking about, the five-year-old, at the time, right? So anyways, after the ruling by the court, there has been a lot of backlash. A lot of persons are bashing the judge and bashing his decision because they are saying, how is it that in 2020, a place like Jamaica, that is the foundation of Rasta, Rasta culture, or Rasta fear and religion? So the people are wondering, they are pondering, how is it that a court in a 2020 could make such a controversial or boneheaded decision? So anyway, people, like me say, when this happened, I said to myself, how oh, comes when I hear from them dance, sorry, them reggae artists, we are talking about the Bujibantan, we are talking about the Kibitan, we are talking about all of the people that are supposed to be stand up, the protege, me not hear nobody say nothing. People, it seems as if these Rasta men, nowadays they are mute. However, lately we saw that Bujibantan, he basically came out and he basically posted something on social media, I think it, it is his Instagram. So people, I want you to take a listen. Take a look at what Bujibantan has to say, and then I'll give my piece. So yes, once again, Rastafari is on a threat. <clears throat> we have come a far away, now to a point where even the herb league and everybody are making money and fight, but you still have our education and our children's ability to be educated in your schools. And I see that as discrimination, because you have never done that to a Jew and ask them to move around, a, a Muslim to remove their kufi which would be religious discrimination. So why you want to rust them and children and to trim them here when you refuse to give us our own schools to educate our children in the way that they should be educated? Because we refuse to be what you wanted us to be, you know. We can't be that anymore because our eyes are open and the people's eyes are open every day. So them background master judge and them, them look up sister and isn't schism whoever go on a journey to fight against Rasta. Rasta for wake up and become industrious. Yes? <laughs> Now people like me say, it take Bujibantan for go to prison for 10 years and come out of Jamaica and still be the only one that is standing up. We are talking about of all of these Rasta men. So sometimes when we hear we are speaking about a controversial figure such as Futa Hype leak out about these Rasta men, people, the truth and the fact is that it seems like them Rasta men them get soft. It seems like these Rasta men nowadays, them are defend the visa, them are defend the molar. We are talking about the greenback, we are talking about the American and funds so therefore they forget everything about the fire that they supposed to be blazing people them get lukewarm point blank and period so anyways the prime minister has also responded we are speaking about the honorable Andrew Holness is saying that the education act it needs to be amended we are speaking about right away immediately pronto and we also saw that the Minister of Culture, we're speaking about Bobsy Grange, has also responded. And she said that she is shocked. She cannot believe that a court in Jamaica in this day and age 2020 would make such a ruling. However, she wants to see the written ruling so she can understand how he came to that conclusion or how he came to that decision because it showed and the facts that no student no person no woman no man should be barred from doing anything based upon their religion based on their style so therefore they want to amend we're speaking about the school act because right now we see that it is outdated and people what is even more disturbing about this whole thing is that a lot of persons on social media and mostly uptown persons they were agreeing with the judge they were saying that schools have their rules and regulation rate lay lay blue blah bling however people like me say you have some set of people in a jamaica and it is obvious on social media that they are brain dead they are basically brainwashed so therefore they are so caught up in the system they don't know right from wrong they are so living in their own world we are speaking about ridiculous world of it is them and everybody else can basically kick the bucket people wrong is wrong and right is right and this is 2020 and nobody should be discriminated against based upon them religion based upon them culture so my point is that the rasta religion and culture it is a bona fide religion 
it is verified or validated we are speaking about all over the world and including jamaica especially the place that it is its origin people that is backward thinking we are speaking about this set jamaica back at least 200 billion years point blank and period so anyways people that is my views on the whole thing as it pertains to that and like me say it is just my views and opinion it is not the gospel your views and opinion can be respectfully different from mine but let me know what you think in the comment section. Bless up.